Now, the last in the series of selections from the Affinity Photo workbook, um, which is normally for the desktop, but I'm doing it on the iPad. I've been working through the selection part on chapter 2. We're on now page 112 for those with the book. Refining a selection and using the iPad to do this. So the first thing I'll do is import the image that we need to use. And it's that one there. Grey background. Now I don't want to remove the toolbar so I'll resize that slightly. Now we need the selection tools. So selections, we need the selections persona which is that one up the top there. See where the blue dot is? That's the selections persona. And we want the selection brush tool. So there we go, smart selection brush tool. That's that one there on the side. The pixel width is 2.9, which is probably really not big enough. So we need to set that quite a bit larger. You can see about the center of the screen there, there's a white circle as I drag that up there. So that's 157.9 pixels. Let's make it a neat 200. Nice round numbers. And you can see that circle in the middle showing you how big it is. Now this is fairly simple this stage. We go around the girl's hair. Right away around, all the way over there. Down there, give it a chance to catch up. And down there. Now we need to use the toolbar to invert the pixels. This will create a selection of the model rather than the background, because we don't want the background. Toolbar, invert the selection. So now the selection is of the model, not the background, although it doesn't look all that obviously different. We've got a rough selection of the hair and we've inverted the pixels. From the context menu, which is down the bottom, check on refine. And you can see there's bits of the hair that haven't been selected. There's, you can see background through there. Um, what have we got? Uh, 50. Let's make that pixel width. I'm going to watch this Apple Pencil. It's not always terribly responsive. 300 might be a bit big for the iPad, but we'll try it anyway. And we'll paint over the, the hair that's not in the selection, which it's fairly obviously not in the selection. And we'll go right around the edge in any case. Picking up all those stray strands, the little bits of hair waving around in the atmosphere there. Let it go and the selection will refine itself. And you can see what we've got there is a much more refined selection. Which is obviously the whole, the, the case in point. We want the selection refined. Repeat that process until you've got a nice selection and you can't see any detail showing through that shouldn't be there. Now we go to change the preview from overlay to transparent. There we go. That makes the background transparent and you can easily see that apart from the finest strands of air here and there that we might have missed, the entire section of the girl's hair has been selected. You can use different uh, preview modes to, to um, clarify that if you like, but that's quick enough. Change the output to new layer with mask, then click apply. Now the output's down here. We want to... Select new layer with mask and apply. 
If you don't apply it, it won't do it. That should have applied it. The original layer will be hidden. We can should be able to see that. That should be up there. And there it is. You can see the background, which is the original image, is now hidden. And everything else is on a layer mask. Why is that important? Because layer masks are a powerful non-destructive approach to image editing. In combination with selections, they allow you to cut out subjects from their backgrounds without discarding the background information. You can also go back and alter or refine the selection at a later date to improve it. So if you're looking for a non-destructive way, you might only have one image and you don't want to destroy it. That's how you can do it. With the, with the uh, refining the selection. I'm just trying to turn a page on the textbook here. And of course these things never want to work when you're in a hurry. But I'm not in a hurry. Refining a selection. Very easy.